For us, it's business as usual. We have finals, and we've encouraged our guys to prepare for finals. Uh, we've had a couple of days off uh, to make sure we get uh, our preparation um, in order for to be ready for the final exams. But our practices um, is just as intense. Um, I guess our games, our practices have been more game specific uh, this week uh, because we know that we've got a couple tough games coming up back to back. So we've had to adjust our, uh, the way we practice and how much time we we put on the court and on their legs. They need recovery time. But uh, a game back to back is the same as we would have in the Southland Conference tournament. We would have to play that way. So it's sort of preparation for the long, uh, the long haul in terms of uh, how we prepare what to expect, and then being on the road, playing in a hostile environment. We've, we've got some experience doing so. But hopefully, uh, Liberty University is a tough team to play against at their venue. Uh, we certainly have got to be focused. Uh, we've got to continue to build and try to get better every day. Um, I think that uh, with a young team, we I see a maturation process take place right before our very eyes. And then we'll just see where we are once we uh, get to Lynchburg, Virginia, playing Liberty. Well, I think one of the good things about being on the road, we're all in it together. We can kind of monitor our um, curfew. We all know where they're going to be on one floor together. Um, it's sort of team building of sorts. Uh, you eat together, you have team meetings, you watch tape together. Um, we're all together for 24, 48 hours. I'm sure I get on their nerves, but uh, I think for the most part, I think they they can focus a little bit better on the road. It's less distractions. Uh, being at home, um, obviously you're sleeping in your own bed, and so that's that comfort of, of doing that. Uh, playing in front of your home crowd, uh, having at home uh, your fans in, in front of you, pulling you through the tough games. So that's a little difference, but the main thing is we've got to be mentally tough and physically tough when we play against our opponents. Well, you know, coming off exams, you're not quite sure how they're going to react. Uh, they're still thinking about a past test that they might not have done well on. Um, we're not sure with a young team the, how they will react. This is all trial and error for, for them, as well as uh, me not knowing completely how they will react uh, to adversity, especially when it comes to being a student. I mean, you go through that as a student athlete. And so uh, this is going to be a learning curve again for our guys. Uh, so there's still that question mark right now in terms of uh, our preparation, our full focus, and, and knowing that uh, we've got a very important game coming up, and we need to put some W's together. We've got two games, win streak, but we've got to continue to build from this day on. Well, going back to Virginia Tech has always been a special place for me. Uh, Buzz Williams has done a good job in trying to rebuild his program. Very tough conference in the ACC. Now, this is my first time going back to that venue, but it's just like any other place I go at. We go for, with one a reason and one reason only, and that's to win. Uh, I love Virginia Tech. I hope they win every game except for when they play Lamar Cardinals. <laughs>